What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Today guys, um, great news, great news. We packed, I packed, we packed, you know, this is our series. We packed um, Headliners Neymar last night. Um, I, I don't have the footage, right? And uh, I know that's going to cause some, uh, some discussion. Um, I had made a 20 minute video uh, breaking down exactly the whys, hows, wheres and what fors as to why I didn't have footage and proof as to how you know I could show that I didn't buy thief points or anything to to get it uh, because basically a very small number of people on Twitter were like oh net buying thief points on his road to glory account again so on and so forth um and of course I don't and after I made that 20 minute video I said to Toby I was like man it just like defending myself to that degree showing that level of proof just makes it seem like it's just it's too much attention it makes it seem like i did buy thief points but basically what happened in a nutshell i'm going to give you guys a nutshell version here now so we can just get on with the the gameplay from tonight from last night's champs games and get on with the series um in a nutshell at the end of the stream i opened 250k packs with coins um i, so I opened a lot of packs with coins a lot on stream a few weeks back i opened 225k packs with coins right it, I think ultimately we need to have a discussion as to why I do that, and, and I think the bottom line is because I, I just I'm just bored of the road to glory, as we all know. I'm not going there today, um, but I opened two 50k packs with uh, coins. As I was shutting everything down, I hosted up Zway, shut down my uh, my Streamlabs OBS, and and started like closing my my work day down. I was like, let me just do one more, man. Bang, open, did it, hit it, like skipped it. I didn't even watch it walk out or anything. And uh, this is what the pack was. Um, so there you go. Neymar is in the pack. Kepa company in there as well. Um, but we packed him. And so as I said to you guys, I, like I just tweeted that. We had some great interaction on Twitter with some people and some really negative interaction on Twitter with other people. And then I just want to show you there that this was in my account. You can see at the top there, no thief points, 2.2 million coins, uh, the 1,114 wins, which I'm now a few ahead, 311 losses, which I'm now a few ahead again. Um, but there he, there he is. There is Neymar, first owner uh, in my account. Um, yes, it's very, very lucky. Uh, it's very, very rare. <laughs> it's very, very, very rare that I pack like a monster card. He, De Ligt and De Bruyne are the only only monster cards we packed this year. Um, and none of them were on camera or on video or, or live. And there's no live reaction for any of them. So I, I, I get some, some concerns, right? And uh, I do just want to talk about um, the number of packs opened and such and, and why um, not everything gets shown and then last but not least as you can see uh, with what we've got there I, and again I don't want to go 20 minutes with this so I'm just going to show you guys the short version basically of wh what I was explaining in in a long video uh, that is my trans my order history in my EA account um, you can see there the blah, 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 and how it's also called the there for the origin ID is connected to the Nepenthes account I blocked out the personal information for obvious reasons. So absolutely no transaction history there. And that's my PlayStation transaction history for the 20th till the 20th. And right now recording this and last night when the pack was opened uh, and when the stream had ended, it was the 20th. And again, I blocked the thing, but you can see there the PSN is Nepenthes. No transactions were made during this period. So that in itself is proof enough um, that there was no nothing untowards. And then it just came down to the fact that I, I just, I don't need to be sneaky or anything or i don't need to buy fifa points you know we're obviously contemplating going over to a fifa point account anyway on this account um but i, I just don't need to i think where the confusion comes from and, and where a lot of people kind of struggle to understand and and even the people that watch the videos right where where a lot of people struggle to, to understand is due to the sheer volume of packs open now i don't i don't open many um i don't open many promo packs from the store off camera, I just got, I don't know what came over me to open the extra 50K pack, but that's what happened. And here we go, I've sold Neymar, as you could probably tell, probably could have got about 100,000 more coins for him now. Um, but one of the reasons why I open a lot of packs off stream, off camera, um, is because, let me go back to the team of the year. Um, team of the year is here, it wasn't that. It would have been the one, Would it? it I think it's this one, right, so. This, uh, and then hilariously, this, although I have the actual footage this time uh, for this one, um, so I, I don't have the footage, I didn't have my Elgato open, right? So on this, what you're seeing here, it's just a rollback feature for the Elgato, uh, which is how I managed to uh, 
get get this and you can see me there with my my lovely team of the year border instead of my uh what's this border headliners border so there's me getting de bruyne him popping out so on and so forth uh, after that we then spent the time on this account was it this account going through all the packs i think it was yeah there we go 59 packs this this whole video is just me opening pack after pack after pack and getting nothing and this is a prime example of a video 52 minutes 58 seconds long um where i don't know if we're gonna see it now <laughs> there's nick what up nick pal um Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I can't. I can't find. I should have found the comment beforehand. But basically, there was a few comments of people just saying this is this is boring. You know, watching you open fifty or sixty packs and getting nothing is boring. And that's been a something that's happened over time over the last couple of years. Um, let me clear that name more off now. That's been something that's happened over time over the last couple of years, where people just don't, they just don't want to see me opening the bronze packs. They don't want to see it. You know, we used to open all of our bronze packs on stream. If you remember FIFA 18, FIFA 17, Road to Glory, and then speed it up. And the reason why I kept opening bronze packs on, on I keep saying stream, I mean video. The reason why I kept opening the bronze packs on video was because people didn't believe that I was opening that many bronze packs or selling all those bronze items. So I had to start showing it. And then it got to a point where people were like, I don't care about watching you open bronze packs. Please stop doing this. So, you know, the, the way things have happened has changed. So during Team of the Year, I probably opened... I mean, before the, the, the morning before Team of the Year ended on that Monday, I had built 50 more 25k upgrade packs. I didn't show you those. I opened all of them. I did the recycle session. I, I packed a few things that allowed me to help craft the first two segments of um, Eden Hazard's SBC. But ultimately, I didn't show you any of it. Because it was just, I didn't just, I just didn't pack anything of note, right? So the the way I open packs has changed a little bit. But in terms of like, you know, opening packs on this on the series, ultimately, I suppose I was just getting bored. Uh, I, you know, in the back of my mind, I know we're going to switch to a FIFA points road to glory eventually. I just, I don't know why I haven't pulled the trigger yet. And what happened this weekend, league, is this guy was brilliant. Uh, he made me want to play with the best players because of the way he plays and the goals he scored. I came out of games just thinking, man, I, uh, how much how much I enjoy playing with him. Imagine if I had Mbappe and Ronaldo and all of the other greats, you know, the the Messi or um, the the headliner Neymar potentially. Imagine how it would be. And so uh, that's that's why I suppose I'm trying to hit the jackpot by opening 50k packs and stuff when there's no real need to do so. And so I went and bought Mbappe for 5.3 million. Uh, I played four games. We've got five goals. Um, what's he selling for now? And, and th this is definitely a card now that I just won't sell for the rest of the game cycle. Uh, he'll be, well, I say that, <laughs> maybe during team of the season, right? Because 5 million coins during team of the season, um, I could make a big, big amount of coins. Funnily enough, I bought him for 5.3 million. He's nearly 5.5 million now. So that's quite nice. Um, and then hilariously last night as well, which was in the long video where I kind of like explained everything in intricate detail that I've still saved. So if people like got any questions or anything, I, I can I can prove anything to anyone. But um, I went and sold Trent to be able to afford Mbappe. I sold Mbappe and I sold like a whole bunch of other stuff out of the club. As you guys know, we've been working on clearing out the club still even more. And then I had about 950 or so thousand coins left um after i bought mbappe and sold neymar and sold trent and sold others and stuff and so i was like okay let me i just went and discarded like three informs uh like some of the low rated guys went and rebought trent again um but what i'm thinking now is like because of who we have here i feel like we need to go and get kante you know um we can put de bruyne up top there we can put team of the year kante in the center midfield spot there uh, he'll link with Mbappe, he'll link with De Bruyne, and then we need another Premier League player here, which will be another CDM um, that will go in there, that will fill up our our squad. So I think the next aim is literally to just go on and push towards that Kante. Um, I know he's quite expensive, isn't he? Uh, I, don't, I don't know what his exact price is. Uh, but team of the Acante, he's up to 2.4 million now. God damn, he was down at like 2.2, 2.1. Um, yeah, 2.4 million. Now, I know I've seen the memes, right? I've seen the memes in the comment section about my anchor chem styles and stuff. Um, 
I don't know if I have two million in anchors. Uh, I, I think I've, I'm, I'm not far off two million in chem styles. We've got four. I've got loads of anchors on the trade pile um, anyway. Um, but anchors, you know, 440 of them, and I am selling them at like three thousand coins, three thousand four hundred for some of them. But even if even if we say like twenty seven hundred uh, for the anchors, um, there is one point two million before tax right there. Um, and then with all the other stuff we've got, I'd be able to get close to, to 1.5, 1.6 just off of chem styles and fitness cards. Um, and then I do have just a whole bunch of tradable high rated cards, a uh, load of informs. Um, you know, as I say, that I've started, I started discarding some of them anyway. And then I can sell Trent. Uh, you know, if, if selling Trent would really, really advance and enhance my uh, ability to get Kante. Um, we could sell Trent and then rebuy him at another time. I just don't know who the other CDM would be and how much I'd need to pay for them to make it a, a good squad. You know, I, re I really like Bataglia and Akuna. Like, that, they are fast becoming a couple of my favourite players. Uh, 65 games already on uh, Akuna. Sadly, the three-star weak foot is a, is a little bit sad. And then Bataglia, the four-star weak foot is great. Medium high is great. I mean, this, this card is just brilliant. Like, it really, really is. It's, it's such a good card. Um, I think it goes through very, very underrated in this game. Um, but ultimately, I would need another CDM from the Premier League. And for the craziest, like just crazily, the Premier League really lacks in high-class central defensive midfielders. Now, one thing that I could do is play David Luiz in that role. Um, start five at the back, maybe get Robertson... Um, in in the team as well you know get Robertson and start him at centre back on seven chem and play Trent at CDM and play Robertson at right back or Mendy at right back and R Robertson at left back but we, we got a long way to go and to progress but with the inclusion of Mbappe in the team now uh, I, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel with regards to grinding towards these extra team of the year cards and and it is like it's rejuvenated me in a manner to be like, do you know what? I can actually do this without spending FIFA points. I can get there. Um, so we would need two point, what is it for? 2.4 million for Kante. Uh, we would need 800K for Robertson. Uh, we'd need 400K for Allison. So we're going to need to get up to about 3.6 million coins. Um, and then from there, you know, Messi, I'm not interested in. Mane, I'm not particularly interested in either. De Jong, could go and get De Jong um, and play De Jong in that uh, left CDM role. And Van Dijk again would be one of the last ones that I pick up. But uh, there, there's there's a there's there's a a will now to really dig in and grind, and which is why I actually ended up playing last night. I, I lost a couple. I was playing so late. It was like half five, six o'clock in the morning um, by the time I finished uh, my games. But it uh, like there was a will to play so late to the point where I actually did manage to get to goal two. So I was fourteen and two um when i finished no 15 and three sorry when i finished streaming and i finished streaming at about quarter past two uh and by the time all this neymar and bape change and stuff came along i started playing again like half four in the morning just because i wanted to play without bape um and yes yeah, so i went from 15 and two to 17 and three or 17 and four i can't remember which one i lost um i think i lost two more in champs um, but I, and I wanted to just play more. It was just so late. I was so tired. Like I was literally falling asleep wh like whilst playing the game. Um, but I wanted to play more. And it's just having those players just gives me the want to play more. Um, so for the rest of today's video, guys, we are going to have some gameplay with um, some of like with the team, with basically with the champs players, with the foot champs, the foot champs games that I played before I got Mbappe. There'll be nothing with Mbappe here today. Um, but that's that's where it's at. So uh, yeah, if any any comments, going to be interesting to read those. Thank you for watching, and uh, let's get into the action. Jesus Christ! You reckon? Oh yeah, he's putting Coman in the midfield, isn't he? Jesus Christ, he's got Zidane. Oh my days! What a team that is! All right, here we go. Here we go. Goal kick? No, that's either a penalty or a corner. That's not a goal kick, EA, and you know it. Come on, KDB, baby. Come on, KDB, baby. I love him, man. He's just so good. Come on, KDB. And that's why I love him. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, it's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. I was so sure he was going to score that. Oh, has he got away with that?
into the advanced position. Oh, that's a good play. Damn it. Damn it. I should have been two up. God damn it. Please go into that. But he's going to be through here because I can't get it. No, EA, please. EA, please. This game right here is a prime example of why I hate playing FIFA it, like at a high level. My my keeper made one save to his his keeper's three. He went five at the back. He wasted time. He played toxic. And like he had 61% possession for no other reason than he just wasted time from about what the 55th minute. Jesus, that's a weird team, isn't it? Gold Ben Yedder. I've done it. Oh my god, I've done a step over there. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? They could not get front. Alright, I'll take that. Well, great read there to intercept. Roussillon has it. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Oh, I'll take that. Bernardo Silva. Sh oh, no, that's Di Maria. Did Bernardo Silva score the first one or was that Di Maria? Di Maria's showing up in this game. Mate, Di Maria is on fire this game. He's doing bits. KDB is just a machine, man. You know what's the craziest thing? I, I just, I favor his left so much more than I favor his right. That's a lovely play. That is a lovely goal and lovely play. De Bruyne, oh, he's just a machine on that left foot, man. KDB, baby. Oh, oh, that would have been too clean. De Bruyne are doing bits there. Three goals. Two goals for Di Maria. One goal for Bernardo Silva. That was nice. That was, that was good. Look at that. I didn't even control much possession. Just battered him for chances. Let me see if I've got squad battles rewards. I don't, I don't think I played any squad battles. Oh, bronze one, bronze two. Bronze two. Let's go. What do we get for that? Gold pack. Is that right? All right. Let's go. Oh. No, at least we've got a rare gold card. Hey, piss check. That's not bad at all. Sessignon's not bad either. Whatever, like the, the El Tornado crossing, the back post crossing, the meta players that work with heading, anything it was, I tried to figure it out and master it. This year, I just haven't even tried, man. I just haven't tried to bother, to care, to figure out what's overpowered and why. That'd be a foul. He's not missing from there. Oh, it's t uh, that's the one that I was looking for in that other game where I thought it was going to be 2-0. Wait, near, like, let me give KDB the corner then. So near post, full power. Well, we got a shot on target out of it. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that is nice. Let's go, De Bruyne. See, moving him to central cam has just created a whole new world for me. Yeah, he's done. All right, e easy game there. Nice. De Bruyne just dominated there. Absolutely dominated. Controlled the possession again, which was nice. <laughs> Next team. He's got Balassi, Bataglia, and... Uh, uh, what's his face up there? Red Van Dyke, Team of the Allison. Mbappe, let's go. What a goal that is. On his left peg there as well. Fantastic strike. What a strike that is. Now he wants to take them on. Now they can swing into attack. 
Come on, DB. Let's go, dude. What a goal that is. That's that left stick dribbling on point, baby. Should have scored a few, few more goals. And then I was lucky he didn't score right in the 90th minute. Five saves for his Allison. Big scuba save. Since I switched to the 4 2 3 1, I'm definitely controlling possession. Road to glory. Jesus Christ. You said be a Mar uh, yeah, you said be a Maradona from the base icon packs. That's weird because it's like it looks like an insane team, but it's not an insane team. He's got so many like low tier basic players. Well, a couple of star names that we're looking at today. What do you think, Alan? Well, two excellent attacking players. We are treated to seeing a really to put them in front. Let's go, man. Lovely goal. Go to Bruyne. Love that. Flam it. You know what I mean? Flam it. Flam it. Sometimes you just got to flam it. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes he flams it. Oh, -ho. definitely not feeding KDB, but what a strike that is. Now that this guy's playing like this, I don't know why he doesn't just quit. You know what I mean? Good goal, KDB, baby. Want to make like that cut run? Oh. Let's go, KDB, baby. <laughs> Kevin De Bruyne with five goals and an assist for the goal he didn't score. Crazy. Crazy. GG's though, man. Um, I'm quite happy with him right now. Headliner. Come on, EA. Headliner OP, baby. Is that even boards? Oh, Jesus Christ. One more, isn't it? It's got to be one more. It's got to be one more for the content. Please, EA. Is that boards? I can't tell. Blue. Oh, it's not team of the year. Walkout, though. Spain. Right. Oh, it's Calion. Oh, it's not Calion. It's Coke. That's all right. It's an 84. Oh, wait. Hold on. That's not even all right, is it? Even with that, we're not making 50K back from this. He's worth like 10K. And he's worth like 4K. <laughs> and he's worth like 3K. So we might make like maybe 20K back out of that pack if we're lucky. All right, guys, so as the uh, 6 p.m. content has dropped, um, I've got, I'm going to start showing you guys a little bit more of everything that I've done. I've sold uh, some, I started selling some of the players and then Diego Costa came out. Uh, so you can see how I've attained these coins that I've got up in the top left corner now. And, and I'm going to carry on selling these players so that we can keep upgrading the squad uh, where we can. Um, I'm, I'm tempted to do uh, Diego Costa. I know he doesn't like fit my actual team, but I went and built Bundesliga first owner, Premier League first owner, uh, Syria first owner, French League first owner, um, just so that we can um, get the objectives done this week. Uh, I want to get everything done and I, I've, I've been working on them and I'll, I'll take you through those in just a second. Um, so for my La Liga first owner, it might be nice to have that Diego Costa there. He's coming in at about 70k on PlayStation uh, and I do like the fact that he's had an upgrade. Um, so we've got our reward to claim for the two players here, Caceres or Tomiyasu. They both have their merits. Uh, you know, Caceres obviously um, links, soft links to Aguirre Garay, who is a brilliant right back, but I don't really use Syria. Um, and then Tomiyasu has five-star weak foot and links to the league Japanese centre-back as well. From the, for, I can't remember what league it's from, the French League or whatever. So I'm going to take Tomiyasu, guys. Um, I just think he's going to suit my team a little bit better. And we're actually going to be able to go and put him in um, our Syria centre-back spot next to Chris Smalling. Um, and I've saved my three packs. I, I saved these three packs. Basically, for, for, for the next little while, uh, I'm going to make sure I save... Oh, I don't know why we've got Max in there. That's supposed to be Jerome Boateng. Or is it Boateng? Is it supposed to be somebody else? I suppose I have somebody else in there. Th this one's not really so much... I, I don't particularly need a Bundesliga first owner squad. Uh, this is more about scoring with Bundesliga players 
Uh, we'll pop Hinteregger in there and then scoring with French players, winning with win, score with Bundesliga and win, and then just score with French players. So that that's to finish off uh, one of the objective players, uh, which we'll get to in a second. Um, and then so the rest of uh, the squads that I built for the Syria, who did I put? I now have Chris Smalling in a centre back. And then we have Godin. So now, in fact, I can actually sell Godin as well and pick up some more coins off of him. Uh, maybe like 35k or something like that for him. And it will get us even closer to, um, to to our next team of the year goal. And in the meantime, we can put that uh, that Tomiyasu in at centre-back. And that is perfect. So a nice little addition there. And our first owner squads are actually really coming along. I might do a little uh, little club tour over the next couple of days to show you guys what's where. So with regards to objectives, uh, I've done most of the stuff now, uh, or at least I'm very well on to most of the stuff. We've done the two squad battles sections for player. Uh, we need to score two goals using French players in four separate rivals matches and score using Bundesliga and League One players in four separate rivals wins. So I'm going to sub on Mbappe in that Bundesliga squad have Mbappe and Coleman up front and hopefully take care of both of these at the same time. Might be a little bit uh, difficult, but we've got four days to complete it. Uh, Icon swaps online, I haven't done yet. Obviously, we're one out of four there and we've got these ones to go, but we've still got 11 days for that to, to complete that. Icon swap single player, I have done two of the championship ones. None of these yet, um, but we'll go through that as uh, when, when we can. And then I haven't done these two yet. I haven't been focusing on these. Now, the Kaka story was an interesting one. Um, I built a squad... In fact, let me show you the squad uh, because maybe you guys can give me an understanding as to why uh, I didn't get the victory, even though I got the victory. Um, so if I go to my squad selector, I think it's called Kiko because I tried to call it Kaka and it said this word is not allowed. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's just his name. Um, I guess I've lost my uh, goalkeeper. I must have had um, I must have had Handanovic in there. We can go and put Chesney in there instead. Um, and so Kaka... And I had you needed four Brazilians. Ooh, oh yeah, so Danilo, the left back, the centre back, and the left mid. That's my four Brazilians. Uh, and then you needed minimum of three Serie A players. Now I have multiple Serie A players. I built, you know, I put that Ronaldo up there. I've got multiple Serie A players, and it says win. Uh, what was it? Win a game, any foot game mode. So I did it in Max. I did it in uh, Mystery Ball um, because I that was the daily objective for a rare player pack, which we oh, sorry, a re one rare player pack. Um, but for whatever reason, it counted one assist from Kaka that I got in that game. Um, assist in two separate matches, whatever, uh, with Primark and Kaka, at least. I don't think you have to actually assist with Kaka. And it counted one here. Score two goals in any foot game using Primark and Kaka. So I scored one with Kaka uh, in Mystery Ball, and I got an assist in Mystery Ball. And then it says win two matches in any foot game mode with Primark and Kaka and at least three Serie A players. I don't know how that hasn't counted. I won I won the Mystery Ball game. I know it shows you your stats. I don't know if it shows you your most recent. I don't know how it like it shows us. Oh, yeah, there you go. Mystery Ball. I, I Wait, why did it count as he won it? I know I won the game like 1917. But I guess I guess because he scored more real goals it counted as a win for him that's so stupid isn't it so i actually won i won 19 17 but i guess i lost 11 9 and that's why i didn't count there you go never mind i've answered my own question um so uh that leaves us with the do i want to do diego costa i think i do i i think i think i'm gonna have that card in my squad just as a, a nice card to have you know it's it's not the end of the world um to waste seventy thousand coins on him uh hopefully we're gonna make some coins off him as well because i'm hoping he's gonna bump the price of um the low rated informs you know i hadn't got rid of any of them i discarded three of them earlier as i said in the video to get um to get whatever it was that we got is this an untradeable pack it is isn't it uh yeah to get whatever we got i discarded uh some of them um and uh i'm hoping now that like 82 83 84 rated informs are going to go up a little bit because people are going to do this diego costa and i'm also hoping that chem styles are going to go up a bit as well because of that so we've got a gold pack and a premium gold pack and a one player pack from ju just from uh season uh, what, like objectives or whatever uh we've worked through that a little bit but i'm going to try my best going forwards to to show oh look at that what pack like that is rodrigo is a good card to get and then a center forward to cam card that's like a 5k card right there that's brilliant um yeah i just want to show you guys I want to just eradicate any opportunity for the discussion we've had here today going forwards. We are going to get a rare gold out of this as well. 
not a walkout, but sorry, I mean a board out of this. Um, so yeah, I just want to just want to start trying to include to a higher degree a bit more of everything. That's an untradable duplicate, so I'll hold on to that for the time being. Um, but with that, what sold for us there? Okay, a hawk sold for fourteen. Oh, I wonder if that's Diego Costa. No, it's, it's the end of the line for that. Um, so with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and carry on, um, just getting rid of all of the um, all all of the uh, high rated cards, high valued cards, and such that we've got. I'm hoping now um, that these guys are going to start going to being more expensive than just discard price. They might not, but it probably is going to be worth me just listing them up for like oh wow okay so it hasn't <laughs> never mind it hasn't shifted the price uh one single bit maybe delafeu will go up because premier league spanish he works well with a lot of it so uh, we might be able to get a little bit a little bit of coins for him um obviously i don't want to sell i think i just sold him and he's in my first owner premier league team never mind we'll have to put walcott there uh, but i'm gonna i'm gonna carry on listing these and selling these and, and trying to get as many coins back for those cards as possible um and we sold one more is that was that an anchor card Another engine went. I'm struggling to get rid of the chem styles at the price I'm trying to sell them for. So I might have to lower my uh, lower my expectations on those just a little bit. But that, guys, is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.